Hi guys, my name is Fred and welcome to Samantia Farms. I know those of you that are following this channel for our cattle ranch have been eager and wanting to see our cows and how they are doing because we haven't uploaded in a while. Today I want to bring you an episode on an update and all the different things that have been going on here at the farm. So stay tuned. Welcome back guys. So as I said in my previous video, I know um, you know my family and fans that are watching us following the cattle business. We've been away for a while after the video about the lumpy disease. Um, we haven't really been doing a lot and capturing what is happening here at the farm. But yeah, the lumpy disease was such a drastic experience for us. Um, you know, both emotionally and managing our stock. But God being so good we've been able to get rid of it now our stock is picking up again and we are actually thinking about bringing in new stock just to replace the ones that are gone so I'll be bringing you a video um, on that very soon as well but today I want to focus on the feeding stages that we have here at the farm right and one thing that we've learned very quickly over um, these few months is the point where we win it so basically when our cows are calves right that is somewhere from one month to let's say six months the first three months we try to supplement their food we give them the the green brachyria grass which is very fresh and then we give them a combination of wheat brown soya beans and maize on a very small quantity just to improve because they are getting milk from their parents so um, we'll do that for the first three months of birth and that really from our experiment we've seen a tremendous growth when we do that versus just letting them drink their mom's um, breast so that is what we've done so the um, the calves in the cage now which are the first pan is about those between one to three months the second cage we have from three months all the way to five months right and they are almost um, at the stage of winning and what is winning winning is when you know we separate them from their mom and now they are grown enough to eat the grass and eat whatever supplement we add to it and they don't breast milk anymore so as usual the old family will know so this pen here is actually like a pen that we built initially to keep all our stock in but because they were really used to it they destroyed it and so on and so forth if you haven't watched that video i'm gonna link it here you can go and watch it but literally we build this pen to house our new stock and they because they're used to working and walking for miles they decided not to be confined so what we decided to do is to leave it till we start having babies and then we'll bring the babies rather here and train them with this method and that's the only way we can feed them take good care of them and make sure that everything is working properly for the intensive system um, so some of these guys are about seven seven eight months and as you can see we are only feeding them with the brachyria grass at this moment so um, the moment they are about seven to eight months what we'll do is we will separate them from the mom we'll give them the first two months we we'll actually go back to giving them soya beans, wheat brown, and corn. A mixture of that we we'll were able to feed them because the moment you separate them, they start losing a lot of weight. And that loss of weight um, actually doesn't help them, you know, because they are not getting the nutrients that they need in order to, to grow the rate that we expect them to grow, right? So that's why we come back to the supplement and we are able to give them um soya beans um corn and then wheat brown as well so for the first two months we will give them that and then after that we'll move them back to a dry brachyria grass and the brachyria grass actually the protein content is higher when it's dry so at this point we will dry it we'll have a hay and then be able to feed them um with the hay 
and that is the, the the stage that these guys are in at the moment and then you can see some calves are um, here that are about let's say four six even five months and those calves are the um, the calves that we actually lost their mom due to the lumpy disease that happened here at the farm right so now we have to get back them back on their feed they are still feeding a lot we are still giving them the brachyra grass and a few supplements that we can find just to get them back on their feet right because they lost their mom at the wrong time where they weren't supposed to be win right and that is what has happened to them um but all things being good we didn't lose the calves we lost the moms but we have the calves and we're able to take care of them and we have i think about six cows that are going um, through that process at the moment these cows as you can see are very neat they are very clean because we're able to keep them inside and take very good care of them hardly will you see like you know um, ticks on them or they getting dirty if you look at the size of our pen too we have a very huge pen um, maybe about 40 uh, maybe about even yeah 40 by 20 feet um, pen for about just seven calves right so that's a big enough space for them to be able to move around exercise and also not be dirty right we have um, this um, metal thing that we've done that we supply them constant water every morning and then morning afternoon and even we are able to feed them we are able to weigh them and really take good care of them and I think one of the our biggest win for being able to do this intensive farming is because we have the feed it's because we have access to brachyra grass and that has been our winner so if you go to the factory right now we are still processing like every three days we process we cut we process we store and then we are feeding right and that's the only way we can move towards the intensive farming so guys i will continue bringing you more video the next video is going to be the new stock that we are going to buy from the market and bring it here this time i want to make a little bit of adjustment to our stock but i'll tell you more about it in the next week's video so stay tuned and don't lose hope if you're a cattle farmer i'll still be bringing you more videos about what is happening here thank you very much for watching and if you're new to this channel and you like the content we talk about both lives all livestock both cattle and um poultry anything that we lay our hands on so subscribe if you haven't and leave us your comment on what you think or if you have any suggestions to this video thank you very much and we will see you again